because they're going to be laning against, what, a Jakiro support with a PA? Tusk and DP are so tremendously good at applying pressure early to slow heroes in particular. It's, it's, a circle. With you it's two branches, doesn't matter. It's the same value. <laughs> well, he's oh, blocked again. blocked again. He's yeah. dead. With the Crypt Swarm, GH. Gonna go for the hits. Oh, the snowball missed. across, but the first blood's still there. Trying or to spread the damage across Tomato and Dubu. Dream of Cell trying to chase him, but he's got Scorched Earth and the ability to run away from the bear, potentially. Dream of Cell giving chase, though. Up the high ground we go. They've got Radiant Vision there as well, so they see him every step of the way. I want to get to my level 6. I'm enjoying my time <laughs> here. No Do you think that ever actually happens? Where, where captains lie, what's a good call? Brile? They're thinking about it. I know, they call Moon Meander instead. I realize the tiny's too difficult to target. Jump away from the avalanche as well. Sumail does get a snipe out near that mid lane. That's difficult to, to defend against, so Saberlight's gonna TP. Plasma Field is maxed out. Here they go on Kuro. Yeah, some solid damage on Kuro. Good Savage Roar. A static Link and another Dagger. Kuro in a lot of trouble. There's no way he's escaping from Saberlight this time, and TSM so quick to react. Never mind, that's fake. I see it on the minimap, it's a glitch. Oh, it's gonna be illusion rune and he's getting baited. He's jaunted into this rune, caught by the avalanche ice path. Tons of stuns. With Lone Druid, because if you get Mask of Madness, there's just so much more value. Plus the Desso, you hit the certain timings, gives you Roche. Maybe he thinks, well, this time around, we oh. want to play a bit of a... Nice snowball. We don't need that much tower damage, I'll hold that thought. Brile, punched up. And Tiny, well, he's been left stranded here by the rest of his team. Saberlight might still be dying as well. Now nah, he's back up to the high ground. Dubu has another ice path to protect him. TSM not bringing anyone up to the outpost, though, as Nigma. They just charge forward into this top jungle, and another shard. It traps Dubu inside. Mind Control, with his urn, uses his last charge to try and secure this kill, and they'll find it. A spree for MC. Seeing the item build that he has queued up, it's Monkey King bar. Oh. Bottom lane getting doomed. Oh, yeah. Diving under tier one. Punch on the razor at Brile. He comes in. The snowballs that by time and save them up. The DP nearly dead does drop in the end. The Sumail has an orb to jaunt away over the ice path. And GH trapped in these trees. Sableye has to give up on Sumail and go for the tusk instead. They lose their doom. It was a but good snowball save. It's such a nice move by Enigma. They've got Tomato trapped up in that top jungle. The Walrus Punch, the Spirit, Vessel, and Siphons kill him off. Well, the dive on bottom lane as well. Kuroki's gone in deep. He has drawn the attention of TSM, waving his flag and saying, look at me, but don't look at your PA because she's dead. Yeah. Troll Warlord looked like well, he was like a Treads MKB, I think was the build. Some Treads wand MKB. He rushed it straight up against the Razor. It makes a lot of sense. Nice shards, not quite nice enough to grab the kill on Saberlight, so they go a little further back towards the Tiny. Brile is all alone down here, and TSM gonna lose their mid laner, even with the Fairy Fire. Oh, oh that Spirit Vessel ends, but Mind Control has him trapped in his sights, while Puck, a male, very deep with a two-hero coil, Jakiro and the Razor now trapped in the shards as well. GH is gonna go for this one. Crypt Swarm across, and Razor will fall, while GH punches poor Dubu into the Nether Realm. They, they know Tomato's right underneath an Observer Ward, so he's dead. He can't blink to anything. So he is. Yeah, Snowball Spirit Vessel blown up. Oh, they're, even, they're even smoking behind. They're not, they're not cutting the wave. They want heroes, and they'll call Tiny. Doom, it's not going to come out. The phase shift and the Waiting Rift, they actually killed off Moon Man. No, not quite, and he does slip away, but Brass Tiny. He's dead while Moon's Doom being chased down, broken by the creeps. Kuro MC, the high ground vision, the spirit vessel on him. And Kuro's gonna get here with the enchant in a second. Snowball from GH, and another kill. I think Nigma realizes top lane isn't safe. TSM are off the map. Mind control. He jumped, doomed. All right, yeah. How'd you like that kitchen sink? Everything chucked at the DP. Oh, but the coil bottom, Tomato. Is he all right? It's just some ale down here. GH from the west. He's coming across, and I think he knows where she is. Kuroki's also cut her off at the pass, and I think they're pretty happy here, because you lost your DP, but they spent Doom, and you killed the PA in the trade. Top jungle warded up, and a little bit isolated now, Nigma. GH will break the smoke, blink away, he gets the escape, now the shards turn around play from him and mind control. Doom being brought down low as Dreamer Cell. 
Gets away from the static link and they kill off Moon. Top lane pushing in. And the Aegis going to be gathered up by some males. Puck this time. Did finish off his BKB, so a lot of big items, like even the Moon Meander, like he's been silently farming as this position for Doom, does have a Blink Dagger and a BKB, but would be in a bit of a trouble right now. Well, Dreamer Cell, very ballsy, he's in a 1v5 and he starts the fight, TSM are afraid of him, Savage Roar, get himself away from there. As they turn back on to Sableye's Razor, BKB'd up with the Essence Ring, down to half health though, and he's just being burnt alive by the Ghost of Mind Control, chasing him to the end of the Earth, and no buyback on him, while Moon Meander, he turns and dooms the DP. She's There's already no spent all her spells, up. the Lincolns on the puck keeps Sumer alive, and they coil Brass Tiny, this is it for TSM now. Three dead with no buyback, and Tomato, the defensive BKB to jump back to tier fours. Again, GH with his initiation during the BKB timing, uses Walrus Punch on a Razor who pops a BKB, then blocks him off with the Shard and Dead Prophet Mind Control. Uh, able to close the gap. I liked his itemization. I did point out the Spirit Vessel. Wind Blaze plus a Phase Boots to be able to run people down. Wondrid still has another bear if necessary. Yeah, I mean, Tomato goes straight in onto the first one, and a nice avalanche toss. Kuroki nearly dead, mind control. Spirit Siphon heal back up. The crits, where are they? Tomato needs them. He needs a crit. Where? He's just not hitting them. The PA unable to finish the job on the DP while some male dives the tier fours. Hunting and killing, slaying one after the other, Bryle with the Avalanche Toss, and the Macropire and some male, good Infernal Blade, but GH and Dream of Sail, they're here to clear up. Jakiro and Tiny now, the only two. Mind control. He wants Heroes to be able remaining. to close it out. Toss back. Toss one in the fountain. Ice path. He's, he's not got it. On oh, cooldown still. So Samil blinks away. Gets out this of danger. And now the this tier four is falling. They needed those toss backs to come in a little bit earlier. And the Brial now in a lot of trouble. Will be the one who's going to type in GG in the old chat. Naval Galaxy. Looking good. Looking crisp. What do you, you reckon they're going to do some lane swapping here, but Dreamer Cell mid against the Puck. Monkey King then is going to be laning against Saberlight's Brewmaster. Early tempo build from the Monkey King. Hood treads. A bit disappointed. Yeah, a little bit sad. A nice carapace down bottom from GH. Make sure that cask doesn't do too much. And TSM that wants to get first blood. Kuroki clapped down by the Brewmaster. Most Man, definitely. They did manage to shut down Enigma on this bottom lane. There is Urn of Shadows. They want to get the charge. It's gonna be the first one. Yeah, get Kuro down here. Kill off the Witch Doctor. Way too many creeps and uh, yeah, Templar Assassin is gonna be farming that. Hey, he, oh, they've, they've caught out Dubu again. Yeah, Witch Doctor gonna fall in that mid lane. Yeah, nice little turn of play from Nigma though, even though it looked kind of rough in that bottom lane, they've managed to get themselves into a decent spot. And a good snipe on the top lane by Bryle. Didn't really need the help from anyone else. Just goes in, kills the Enchantress. But these wards, Dyer have perfect vision down in that bottom portion of the map. They see, they see three everything. heroes. And I think Mind Control, he, he wants to black hole, but Saberlight, he saw him coming. Goes with the primal split. GH is nearby. Cycloned. And still focusing into MC with a magical nuke damage. They bring him down. Samael so realizes that's not where he wants to be anymore, so they'll have to leave the next assassin all alone here. Does get a good stun back on to Saberlight. Does he escape from this though? I don't, I don't believe so. With another jaunt forward, the orb will connect. And Bryle finishes off another one. And they see all oh, they see the monkey, they cut the tree! The coil missed, but they still find some mail. His hood is ready. Doesn't have Wukongs though. I'm trying to get hits onto Saberlight. No backup from the rest of his squad either. Trying to get this solo kill in a 1v3 scenario. So Samael jumps across. GH. Out of Vendetta now, but trying to find a little hidey hole to sit in. And as, as this game develops, I'm, I'm starting to wonder about this Monkey King pick, because TA was the last one for TSM, right? Picking it into the MK, into Lone Druid. When Monkey King... Oh, they've, they've got a catch. Leashing up MC, but he's running around and juking all the damage. Dubu's the one to get sliced by the Boundless. Two seconds for Primal Split. Sableye should have it ready. Pops his Soul Ring, goes on in for the Black Hole. Oh! Cancel Joel oh, Mind Control. No, that's not what you want, but Brawl. Brought down by the Lone Druid and Kuro, while the Primal Split unable to really do much other than kill off GH. Moon Meander in the Invis. The tower has fallen. That's what Enigma wanted. Mind Control still being hunted down by Sableye, but he's under tower and surrounded by four. Enigma will just zone him out completely. Another kill for them. 
smoked for another five seconds or so. Oh yeah, get in there with the Warpine Raider. Primal Split is ready with his Aghanim Scepter, but the Chain Stuns and the Black Hole, Mind Control, will make sure that not a single ult is used by the Brew, and he's dead for 40 with no buyback. So complete this freedom for Enigma. Mind Tomato. Control does not want to risk anything, and uh, Tomato's in a lot of trouble. Oh, but they turn it! Now we come in with Brile. Feared back, the call was decent. Tomato rooted up, though, the Entangling Claws, and the Warpine Raider slaps him down, and Kuro claims another kill. Putting that face boots and Mask of Madness, allowing him to get out of trouble. And look at GH. Top notch stuff, yeah. Oh, but he whips the stun. Don't look at GH. Turn around <laughs> on Kuroki. Starstorm lands in on him. Moon Meander's gonna snipe the Ench and GH Cyclone. Yeah, the Brewmaster did get this additional ulti out. Two charges used for this extended team fight. They'll find themselves next assassin. Even with that carapace and turn around stun, TA trap will slow him enough to allow Moon and Bryle to finish him off. Tomato with his Deso and Meld. A ton of minus armor, and that's gonna be Aegis for them. Enigma nowhere near. As a coil catches Monkey, he turns to fight, gets the boundless strikes up, but look at that damage! Meld with a Death Ward shreds through the Monkey. Radiance or not, you're dead. And Kuro left to his own devices in that Radiant Triangle, brought down by Tomato. TSM striking back hard. Oh, that's a good point. Prioritize refresher. Arrow. Oh. Ooh, barely misses. Straight past the backside of GH. Lone Druid, Savage Raw, but the Death Ward will take down Kuroki. And again, it's TSM leading the charge. Finding a kill. He doesn't scout anybody. Nigma on that right hand side, hiding in the trees. And there's no real way here for TSM to access the tower, so they're going to try and hold high ground. Clear Ancients, but Dreamer Cell. He's got different ideas about this. He starts the fight himself in a in a 4v5. The bear focused though and brought down. Does have the resummon. Trying to battle into this primal split at Sumail, Wukong's. Savage Roar again, but not gonna land on anybody. Puck in the back lines, they find Dubu. Bryle trying to hunt for mind control. Bear's gonna and die still again. waiting. You give you black holes ready. Mind control. He was closing the gap and looking for it, but the lone druid, Dreamer Cell, Savage Roar again. He's speedy, but the trap will slow him down. Another pebble ready in a second here as Moon Meander leaps across the trees and picks him off. And GH being turned on. Arrow. Carapace will turn it around. They've got TA and Brewmaster on his tail. Spirit Vessel doing a great amount of work as well and giving Tomato this killing spree. They would love to get a catch first, though. Kuro's going to wander up staircase. Tagged by the Maledict. A couple of traps as well. And Bryle. Three man coil. Moon Meander. He wants to get in here. Focusing on Kuroki with the primal split. Where's mind control though? Keep eyes on him. Still has the blink black hole ready. But TSM doing a great job. Just kind of poking, prodding, jumping in. Killing Ench. Forcing the monkey BKB. And Roshan is still available to them. Potentially break the coil with it. Which is also nice. But also save himself from the lone druid i think that's the big one he wants to keep the distance well nigma wants in dreamer cell sends the bear forward mind control with the black hole fine saber light and the brewmaster he's oh, good down side mc still dead though the side blades and the death ward finding the kill while Brile looking for the next assassin tomato being focused by the bear gets the savage roar off dreamer cell needs this entangling claws but the pike Pushes the TA away. Moon Meander will drop in the end. Oh, no, he won't. He, he wants up. He leaps out. Another coil this time from Broil. Hunting down Sumail. And Enchantress this follows him to the grave. This is going to be a full grave. team wipe eventually. They need to chase him down. He's super speedy. 400 move speed. All right. They're going to leave him alone. Instead, go in. He jumps in. Coils three. Forces Monkey King to BKB. And they're trying to do this kind of bait play, right? They bait Enigma to try and start a fight where it's not really advantageous for them. And I, I kind of feel like Mind Control has has the call or has in his mind, I need to black hole the Brewmaster. So I saw the tips from TSM onto Sableye, and I'm assuming as uh, yeah, GH is going to get caught and killed here. I'm assuming that Sableye is just like, I'm going to tank black hole. If I die, I die. But that's going to give the rest of the team so much space to do the damage they need. Because black hole and Wukongs were both on that Brewmaster. They didn't really need him. A couple hey. of supports falling, which Doctor dead. Mind Control jumps in mid, but it looks like Bryle gonna be able to jaunt away to his orb. And now Sableye gets to use his ulti. Straight in with a three-man coil again. Monkey has to BKB up, but Nigma losing heroes so quickly while Dreamer Cell does turn onto the split. 
But this allows the TA to keep her distance, focus into the Lundroid Bear. So Mail, he can't get into this fight. Stuck in his own Wukongs for now as they Savage Roar up the puck. Eon Disc and the phase shift. A bit of space for Tomato again. Oh, he pikes down to low ground into Dreamer Cell. We go. Does have a resummon, but he doesn't want to use it. The bear dead. And Sumail, he's in trouble now. Tomato still has this Aegis and shreds through the Monkey King. And they found another one Cyclone. with the Cyclone. Kuroki's Enchantress. This looks like it might Save be a just be game over. Tomato. Doing way too much. He pops the refresher, has another two charges. He's in perma <laughs> mode. Like he's in perma split mode. Just keep going for it. Die Fountain, why don't you? Kill off GH. Another team wipe for TSM. I glyph up there, TN3s. But Enigma Galaxy at this point, they've been broken. Brewmaster is just doing way too much. Saber Light, we can call him, you know, when he plays the Brewmaster. Beautifully done. Not afraid to use Primal Split immediately when the fight starts and the... Uh, but they popped the Glyph already. So, 40 seconds without Lone Druid. Uh, he's really struggling with dealing damage. Did pop the Savage Roar to try to get uh, himself out of the Cyclone. But then again, another Cyclone comes through. Uh, Nigma, they have one more fight, potentially, because... Uh, yeah. Yeah, check mind control. He's smoked, ready yeah. to go. <laughs> he is going, oh, but no. He blinks in too early. No BKB and he's dead. Oh, dearie me. They had one chance and that's it. Wukong from Sumail, but the throne is exposed. Falling here to the TA. I mean, maybe. No, 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 maybe. GG, it's no. over. And TSM tied things up.